Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received on October the 22nd, 2015 from the Lord Jesus. The title of the message is Learn My Voice, I Am Speaking to You. And the Lord Jesus began, Those who search for me will find me. I am not hard to find. I am out seeking you. You do not have to look hard to find me. I am here waiting for you to open the door of your heart. Many people think they need to pray and fast for days on end for my presence. No, I am here, ready to come in. Just open the door of your heart, and I and my Father will come in and dine with you. I am easy to find. Time is winding down, and those who seek me will find me. I am not hiding my face. I am not silent. All who seek me will find me. Now to have a deeper walk in me requires spending some time in my presence. This is for those who diligently seek me and desire to see my face and not just the blessing of my hand. I am here waiting for the invitation to step into your heart. You will know me. You will learn my voice as I speak softly to you, as I speak to your heart and nudge you with my spirit. I am seeking those who desire me in their lives. I promise I will not be silent with you. As you learn to recognize my voice, you will realize that I am constantly talking to you all day long. I desire the presence of my beloved. You do not have to seek me for long. I am here waiting to step into your heart. I am preparing my bride for my coming. Therefore, I will speak to her constantly to encourage her, correct her, and motivate her to minister to others in my name. My bride, I am coming for you. More and more people are learning to hear my voice. They are recognizing me and they are realizing that I have been speaking to them for a long time. They just did not know that it was I who was speaking to them. I desire a bride that I can communicate with. So come my bride, let us commune. Let us reason together my cubs. Though your sins are like scarlet, I will make you white as snow. Though your garments are filthy rugs, stained with sin, Yet I desire to give you a new garment, a robe of righteousness. I am calling to all now, that many may wake up and be ready for my coming. Yes, I do desire substantial harvest at my coming. I desire a bountiful bride. I am sorry to say that many are ignoring my calling, though I call them constantly to me. Though I send my prophets and priests to them, they have turned a deaf ear and will not listen. Some have cast out and offended those messengers I have sent to them to awaken them to the lateness of the hour. They are too embroiled in the world. They seek earthly pleasures more than the heavenly gift. It breaks my heart to see them so concerned about fleeting, fickle things that belong to this world while they ignore their everlasting abode that I have prepared for them in heaven. They seek earthly homes, whereas I have built mansions for them in heaven. The pleasures of this life are temporary. You cannot take all the wealth and money you have hoarded to heaven with you. Money is a currency that belongs in this world. You need a different currency to enter into my rest. You need to know me, for none will come to the Father but by me. I am the currency that gives you access to heaven. I am your bountiful reward. Everything else is second place to me. I love you, my cubs. That is why I am calling you early, before the rapture, that some of you may escape the tribulation period and become my brides instead, ready for me to come and get you on that day of victory for my bride. I desire a bountiful harvest, so let those who have an ear to listen, listen and respond. Let them be ready when I return to take them to their abundant rest. As for those who still harden their hearts, even after I have made it plain, what they will face in the tribulation period. I will have no choice but to leave you behind. When you see me come and take my bride, all your toiling will come to naught. You will realize incredulously that you have been wasting time, ignoring your soul that you may please your flesh. Your desire for earthly goods and glory will cease and you will all of a sudden realize that you are deceived. You are deceived by your flesh, your selfish ambition, and your pride. Now turn back to me, seek me, 
I will be found by you. No more wasting time, my cubs. We have a battle, a war to prepare for. You will need to draw closer to me and find nourishment for your souls in me. Do not despair. Victory belongs to you. Follow me, only me. I will lead you, my cubs, to your ultimate triumph. Do not listen to deceiving spirits. For now they roam freely among you. Find your hiding place in me, and I will reveal my presence to you. You will do great exploits for me, all my mighty men of valor. One will put a hundred demons to flight, and two will put ten thousand demons to flight. You will receive power from on high, and you will be anointed for this war by me personally. You are still mine, though I leave you behind, as long as you do not take the devil's abominable mark. I am with you, watching over you jealously. Remember, I warn you now, if you take the mark of the beast, you are lost to me forever. I will turn my back on you. My Holy Spirit will abandon you. It will be like we never knew you, for you will have chosen your allegiance to Satan as a priority over me. You no longer qualify to enter my rest. You belong to the devil and his demons forever. Therefore, hold on tightly to me. No matter how hard it gets, losing your life because of the tortures of this tribulation period is nothing compared to being thrown into hell for denying me by taking the mark of the beast. Hold on, my cubs, to the very end. Do not abandon your post or your first love, me. To those who remain faithful to the end, I will show myself strong for them. I will be tender with them, minister to them, and draw them close to my heart. Remember, you are standing for me. It is not just about you. There are others watching you, and many will choose me when they see your faith and your love for me. The things you will suffer are temporary, compared to your eternal reward in heaven. Hold on to me, to your very last breath, for though Satan make a spectacle of you publicly, to humiliate you, yet in his arrogance he forgets that he is giving you an audience an opportunity to testify for me, for the onlookers will see my glory on you, even as they saw it on Stephen's face, and many will repent and run to me. In your death you will draw many hardened hearts to me. For some of you in death, you will draw more people to me than you did when you were living. You will be like Samson, who killed more Philistines in his death than when he was alive. You will draw men's hearts to me. When they see your faith and your passion for me, and how you gave your life to me willingly. A fire will burn in them, and its flame will consume them, and they will turn from their sins and embrace me as their Lord and Savior. I will not reject them. I am waiting for them. Some will step forth immediately and declare that they have chosen me. Some of you will see a tithe of your harvest before you die. People who will step forth to announce their allegiance to me, and who will be put to death alongside you. You will both enter into my kingdom together, the harvester and the harvested walking hand in hand into my eternal rest. Yes, victory is yours. You will come to me bearing some of your sheaves in your hand, and the rest will follow you home. Then I will say, welcome home, my faithful servant. Do not despair, my cubs. Though I leave you behind, yet I will draw you to myself. As for those who will live through the tribulation period, Though they torture you, still hold on to me. Do not be afraid or envy your dead brothers and sisters. No, you will live to see me return, O strengthener. You will see me riding in the clouds with the hosts of heaven, coming to conquer for you. I will rout the enemy in your sight, and in my coming you will find rest for your souls. Let those who hear my voice take heed. Either prepare now and come home with me as my bride in the rapture, or be left behind and fight like my cubs. Remember, if you are left behind, do not take the mark of the beast, even under the threat of death to you and to your loved ones. Death is the least of your problems. If you give in and take the mark, you are damned for all eternity. Come to me. I am calling you. Come to me while there is still time. The rapture will occur any time now, so come to me and become my bride that you may be counted with them and not have to go into the tribulation period. All in all, I love you, my brides. 
I love you, my cubs, and I love you, my strengtheners. May my peace richly dwell in your hearts always. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord. Be blessed.